Hey there, everyone. This is our crowd playing Nonsense. I love this big chunky cloud we're on. I love how it looks. I wish I could. I would have done both of the big chunky clouds yesterday, but you know, I just bubble. This one, this level gave me a little bit more trouble. I love how it disguises. You're like, okay, we're gonna have a war level early on. Turns out, eh, it's more cloudy than that. Ted is all up in my personal space. A star and a half by Jabriz. And, uh, Yoshi coins are to be collected. Yeah, that's... okay, that's... okay, he has fallen me. He's doing not the greatest job in history, but... Because this is, is a Noto scroller, I don't really have a say much about what is the speed that I take. See how this could become quite a pain. Yellow level, so do not worry. Uh, the wrong Zorg and also spaghetti. Here you gotta go through the thing While well, Ted is here He's smiling with his legs right up to the side They're more like arms and legs Like they clearly hand with hands You fool Thou cow Uh yeah I'll double feather Here, this level Absolutely uh, I don't foresee fire just being all that useful I don't know Maybe I'm wrong though Uh oh Uh See? This is what the incredible power of feathers can let you do. Mess up and not be punished for it. Yeah! Alright. See, if this was a- there's a lot of pipes just kind of chilling everywhere. And that is sort of triggering this little like, oh no, like little warning siren. Uh, regarding secrets, but I know for a fact there's only one exit to find, so I don't have reasons to worry. Pop that guy? No. Okay. Uh oh, I messed up. Dude, okay. So, I messed up. I, that's what happened. That's what messing up looks like. It's not very pretty. Alright, and then we're here. It's like, whoa, we're here in this zone. Unbelievable. I like this Ted. He's a very personable Ted. He just does not have a healthy sense of personal bubble. You know what? That's the kind of thing sometimes, you know, it's just like, I don't, I think it's just a lack of training. You know, it's like a dog or something. You know, you gotta... Okay, so this is where I got hurt. And dad led... Because, because I suddenly lost cape physics, uh, I made a very bad jump. I super overestimated where I was going to be able to go because yeah, no, I'm just look look man The feather is unbelievably strong So strong they just give it to you for free and yeah, like the level would be completely different difficulty If it was not just given for free for free. All right. I did that Flopping fish on the ground. Did you ever see such a ridiculous thing? You got one ups on the cloud at the end, which means this was pure profit. Cause I only died once. Alright, I could have done I could have played this at the end of yesterday's session, but I didn't know. I, I I love this level. It's just so jangly and wobbly. It's fun. Like it's oppressive, but it's just nice enough about it. And again, I do genuinely feel that giving free capes just handed to you is a big difference maker. Flooded Ghost House, which I'm pretty sure is a literal vi Mario level name by FT029. So star and a half and half a star for the secret exit. Will I be able to tell which is which? There's a big difference in this game between 0.5 and 1. So, yes. I, uh, is it just going underneath here? Just go like, whoa, check it out, it's me. I'm swimming underneath the thing. Whoa, check out the big red bubble. It's not red, but it's green! Uh-oh. I need, no, I need, oh, Dagadon's up there. That is rude, but I get it. I understand what you're saying. Uh-oh. Uh, I need the gag- Barb's arm. Yes. That thing that exists. I need it. Yay! Okay. Now I can concentrate on the- So now you go up there and everywhere. And then you go meet a dog. The dog goes, whoa, check it out, my hair! 
you don't have hair, you have fur. Can you say dog hair? You can totally say that. I feel it's more... I mean, is there a difference between fur and hair? I feel like there is. But I don't know what it is. I got hurt two times in this, in this little... This little boo fight. But, in my defense, I feel like I could have tried more harder. <laughs> but hey, that's probably the half star. It's gonna lead to... It doesn't even lead to the star world. No, no, no. We got something in between. Well, that's great. That gives us a chance to go forward here. Whoa, go zone. You got yourself a mushroom on top of a thing and then the, th the scrolling goes like wacky. Oh, but that's like that on purpose. Relative wackiness of scrolls. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there is current too. So, you know, take that into advisement. Uh, I'm gonna get hurt. Yeah, I got hurt. Yeah, so this is a level about controlling the tide. The boss used a wacky tide. Which, you know, I, I just didn't realize that would have been the focus at the time. I kind of want to see if there's anything down, though. Yeah, so once again, we're going to do the same thing. Ah, right. I see what's going on. You go on top and this guy sings a song. It's really bad for me. Yeah, jumping. Here's a fish. Whoa, red scales on that fish. Like the red scales on those turtles' shells and, and shoes. Red, red scaled shoes, so you can go up here, and that does things. Probably. Uh, so, roaring sound. Wait, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so, so you saw how it was just kind of like, it looked like I was just swimming outside of that ribbon of water for no reason. I'm going to tell you what was happening. Even though the water below has a visible current, Anytime you're in a swim state, you'll actually be affected by said current. Even if I am not in the water that is displaying that visually. Whoops, I just kind of fell off. I just, I'm just falling off of that stuff a lot in this game. I feel like I am a clumsy little guy. Which is a bad thing if you're doing platforming, probably. So yeah, you gotta just keep doing it. But why, though? Like, that's what I'm wondering, like... Oh, to knock it out! Did I know that rule? I don't know if I knew that rule. Alright, then we can leave it here and then die, maybe. Yeah, consider it. Eh, you know what? I'll just take the hit. It's fine. It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! Probably supposed to do it just faster after the platform full key. Yeah, there's still a current. There's still a current. Dang it. Why? Uh, no. Hiding up there would not have protected me. It did the opposite. Yeah, see, look. Look, they can see. No, okay. So you can't see. But you can see by the fact that I'm moving the left. Even though I'm facing right. Like, I feel like that's a pretty strong indicator that something amiss is happening. Like, you can't just moonwalk on command and Super Mario World. Uh-oh. That was not safe. I was supposed to go up there. The coins up there um, were meant to sort of foster a willingness to quickly hurry up into that safe haven. Which I didn't do because I am a reticent. Like, I tend to be slow while I play. I tend to just kind of end it. Like, I know sometimes I berate myself for rushing. But for real though, like, I am... Oh shoot, I just died, didn't I? No, because I can go through the thing. I am a very cautious player compared to what you're gonna see on like Twitch and stuff. And uh, yes, okay, so here is the same story. Oh uh, yeah, so you have to juggle the- No, dude, yeah, the fact that I need to push against the current, but also the fact that I need to be looking the opposite way. This is very interesting. Fish, less so, but it's there. It's all good. All right, so... Yeah, see, the coins are there to get your eyeballs excited. And then I get get by the ghost anyways. It worked perfectly. So this, I can just kind of cheat and do that like that. Because, yeah, I'm forever pushed to the left. It's kind of like a Noto scroll, but it's, it's the Mario that's the one scrolling. And the cargo in these boxes 
forget about it. The, it's, it's, there's nothing good in there, unless it was all waterproof from the get-go. Uh, I think it's a lost cause, man. And, you know, dredges are fun. They're fun to watch. But in spite of... You just do that. See, this is where being, being cautious paid off. Uh, despite of the planet being, like, all water, basically, statistically, a lot of the stuff we do don't care much about being wet. It's just a uh, bit of a design flaw. A bit of a lack of forethought. Okay, this is the kind of... Oh, oh shoot. No, yeah, see, I keep turning too, too fast. I think I crossed a platform, but I didn't, so I just... I just keep re-stepping on it constantly. I should have been punished for that, I feel like. Yeah, this is to get you up. Like, everything is here with a purpose. Alright, so... Yeah, don't... There we go. Don't start... I wonder if there's gonna be more? Okay, I don't think there is. Uh, I was just like... Oh, shoot. Dude, I I got fished. That's me. Oh, yeah. Well, really. Well, you have to linger at least a tiny little bit for the change in perspective to take effect. It's honestly, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, this is just great. And don't go enough to the left so that you can just make sure the ball doesn't spawn. Just ignore the fish. Just jump over them like that. One shot. See, that's what I mean. I feel like a lot of people would just sail over them and that would work fine. I tend to hold back and just look for a second, and that made it a little bit harder. Oh, is that gonna be the end? No. Well, I don't know. Where is the end of World 2? It's not really, like, super clearly indicated. I think that's like a mid-fortress, right? No, that's- I don't know. It's just there in the middle of the path, and I'm freaking out for nothing. I want to keep playing. Two stars by Rude Guy? Am I really one more leveling into a two star? Yes. I see bouncy lines! Daggered, ons are involved, and if I, if I once again have to split my world in twine, I'm getting used to that. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Whoa, okay, you're bouncing. Bouncing! Here we go. Get yourself a mushroom if you want. There is no HUD here at all. Yeah, so if you're a wooden platform, fantastic. You're bouncing. Yeah, uh, timing there was not fantastic. Between when I decided to go and the presence uh, of a certain Richard, and then here I just panicked. I have no idea why. Like, I'm just not taking my time, which is a bit of a... Bit of an ironic situation considering what I've been talking about during the previous level, isn't it? You don't need to get back up, but it's fine. Okay, so Okay, if you if you spin land, you're gonna still bounce in normal, but I was not holding spin the uh, like, like is there a time limit to Wow, okay, so I think the strat then I mean, I wasn't sure, like, if it was going to return or not, is what happened. I learned. <laughs> Knowledge was gained. Alright, so here you go. None, 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 none of these. Great use of language. Language is a forgotten art of communicating using words that mean specific things. Yay! So yeah, that's going to make me bounce and then fall. Amazing. A uh, blue turtle just sitting there. I don't wanna... Okay, yeah. No matter of holding various versions of the spin jump button there is making me spin. Okay, I think, yeah, that is an enemy block. And those are maces spinning along, singing graces. 
Here we go, platforming on an iceberg. I can go back, but I can't. Now we're gonna go places and rant. Oh boy, oh come on, dude. Yeah. Watch out for the fire. Watch out at this hour. All right, because I have a cave, I can sort of drawing. I can. I'm pre so I'm ducking too fast. I'm uh. Here, here we go. That's ducking less too fast. I mean, could you not just use uh, Richards here? I don't know. Hey, are you still big? Fantastic. Have a big coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's right. I don't know where that came from. And I don't like it. Pleased to meet you. Alright, well, I'm gonna run up the stairs, dude, and I'm going to navigate this prism. Oh man, it's not a prism, it's just a shape. Flacking a certain tridimensionality, a certain depth to make it rise out in history. Are you ready to time? Are you ready to look at time? Are you ready to get hurt in a dumb way? I'm always ready to be hurt in a dumb way. It's not that I'm ready for it, so it just happens. Alright, okay, so here you are. I'm gonna do that again. Wait a second, which way? Okay, so that is a path of least resistance, by which I mean I can get another feather. That doesn't mean least resistance at all. Wish. There we go. Yeah, it's the sound effect. The sound effect is the same word as going, this is something I would want. Alright, that's what Adam Adam and Manabeas are for. All about together at last. I'm the king of lozenges. Yay! Gotta be the king of something. Otherwise, what even are you? So, like, the fact that it is, uh, the cape does make timing the squares a little awkward, a little bit. Uh, because, you know, you gotta, you gotta just hold. Bouncing high is the same button that's floating, right? But I love this level. I, I just drove through it. Ah, it felt great. It felt fantastic, and next time, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. We can flop on over to the star world. So yeah, two stars. I, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like, I feel like I don't fit into the criterion of uh, the difficulty scale, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's personally reasonable. It's hard to make a universal scale for these kind of things. In fact, it might be slightly impossible, <laughs> but it, it's a good sort of like expectation setters. I mean, you know, maybe it went well because I was expecting a, a slightly harder thing too. Like that's, we've experienced this before together. 